Is there any more welcome sound of summer than the bells that herald an approaching ice cream truck? Well, not in Nancy Giles' book, there isn't. Whether soft serve, sandwich, or snow cone. Just look at that. Nothing helps to beat the heat like an ice cream truck. When you hear the bell ring and you know the ice cream truck is nearby, what happens to you? I get really happy and I scream, ice cream! <laughs> Later on Sunday morning, ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream! There's no mistaking that summer sound, the ice cream truck, triggering sugar highs among kids and some pretty fond memories among adults, too, our Nancy Giles included. Do you know what the coolest song of the summer is? Here's a hint, it's a classic. Yep, it's the jingle of your friendly neighborhood ice cream truck. When you hear the bell ring and you know the ice cream truck is nearby, what happens to you? I get really happy and I scream, ice cream! <laughs> You're everybody's friend when you're out there, and everybody likes you. Paul DeMarco and his wife Donna have been making friends for almost 20 years driving their ice cream trucks. As a his and a hers. And they have yet to cool on the business. Goodness gracious, look at that. What is your favorite part of doing this work? Well, my favorite part of it is every day is a different adventure. Mm -hmm. It's not your typical daily grind of going sure. to an office job and seeing the same people and doing the same thing. And let's be honest, who doesn't like hearing people say they love you when you're delivering the goods? <laughs> But ice cream author Laura Weiss says the frozen treat hasn't always been available to the man on the street. Because sugar was phenomenally expensive, you had to be rich to eat anything made with it. And the spices that went into ice cream, there was cinnamon ice cream, there was chocolate, which was new and exotic vanilla. These were imported, and they were very expensive. Then, in 1920, an Ohio inventor named Harry Burt put a stick into a cheap packaged ice cream bar and called it a good humor bar. He came up with the idea to equip a refrigerated truck with ice cream treats. And the first one was, of course, this ice cream bar with a stick in it. At first, he had about a dozen of them, and he started out in Youngstown, Ohio, and then it spread like crazy. Soon, the sweet taste of ice cream was available to everyone. The trucks went everywhere, in the suburbs, in the cities, in neighborhoods rich and poor, and in between. The ice cream truck was and still is everywhere. Nearly a century later, vanilla and coffee. A new flavor of ice cream truck is dishing out to today's ice cream lover. It's a pretty awesome combination. Too. Ben Van Leeuwen is co-owner of Van Leeuwen Ice Cream, and he doesn't make just any old ice cream. That's a 99% chocolate, so no sugar. And that's fresh turmeric. And what is this? That is coriander seeds, ah. and that we use for a new limited edition flavor we're doing, which is a curried nut with salted caramel swirl. Van Leeuwen serves artisanal ice cream, meaning they make everything by hand with carefully sourced ingredients. Those are a special variety of hazelnut that okay. only grow in Piedmont, Italy, and they're our favorites. And to keep up with the times, they've even started making, brace your taste buds, vegan ice cream. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that banana is so... Oh, oh my goodness, I don't get the vegan part. This just tastes great. That's actually insane how good it is. <gasps> and that's vegan. Vegan with five ingredients. Then I'm gonna be a vegan. All right, I'm glad we've converted you. That's all well and fine, but sometimes the classics are all you need.